Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back to another 3D modeling video. Uh, well, today again, a request from a subscriber, and this question was, can you model a padlock? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna start off with a polygon cube. We're gonna drag that out in the grid, pull that up. In our attribute editor, we're gonna go to our poly cube, and we're gonna set the translate values to zero to get it nice and centered, okay? Then we're going to hit R and we're going to push that in a little bit. So we roughly have the, uh, the thickness. And then we're going to pull up until we are ballpark looking at something that resembles the bottom section of a padlock. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to select it, right click, go to edge and we're going to double click on all the outer edges. Okay, that should be it. And then we're going to go to mesh, uh, sorry, uh, to where do you go? Mesh tools and bevel. Okay. We're going to hit Q on our keyboard. We're going to right click the object mode, and then we're going to go to our poly bevel, and we're going to increase segments to five. And then we're going to tweak the fraction until we have something that's not completely square, but you know, kind of rounded edges, something like that. All right. Now, normally a pan lock isn't level. It's kind of bulging in the middle, okay? So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna switch to our top view, we're gonna select this guy, and we're gonna go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Multiple Edges, we're gonna do five. And we're gonna just add them right there. Hit Q on your keyboard, right-click Vertex, and we're gonna just drag select these. Hit R carefully drag them out not too much skip one at both ends and take the one in the middle okay just check your end result to make sure that it doesn't look too off if you will all right not bad okay now for the bottom uh, for the top part and we'll get to the lock section in a bit, okay? For the top part, we're gonna take a polygon torus, one of these, okay? I'm gonna go to my poly torus in my uh, attribute editor. I'm gonna increase segments to 40 by 40, like so. And let's bring the uh, section radius down to 1.2. I'm gonna select that, hit E, rotate that, to 90 degrees. We're going to switch to our front view. And I'm going to hit R and I'm going to start to scale that guy in. I have to zoom in. Okay. We're going to hit W. We're going to move that over and we're going to set the translate values to zero as well. So we make sure it's centered. And as you can see, it's a bit thin. All right. So let's tweak that. Let's do, uh, that probably looks okay. Hit R, bring that in a little, maybe a bit more. Let's do 3.9, see how that looks. Okay, and now we're gonna kind of squish that in. Not too much, just a little, okay? And then we're gonna hit W, we're gonna push that up. We're gonna move in, right click face, and we're gonna drag select the bottom half and we're gonna hit delete, just get rid of it. Okay, I'm gonna hit F to zoom in. Right click object mode, I want him to be over there. So we're just gonna check our settings here. There we go. And we're gonna move in and we're going to right click, go to edge, double click on 
that edge and on shift double click on that one and we're just gonna hit W and pull that down now now it starts to get tricky right click object mode we're gonna bring it down and we're just gonna have a look whether the height is kind of appropriate okay now this would be too much probably and this is maybe just right so we'll do that okay right that was the easy part um now uh, let's see if we smooth this guy out yeah looks better okay now we're going to deal with the bottom section which is trickier okay we're going to take a polygon cylinder we're going to bring that up a little bit we're going to add some subdivision let's do 40 just so we get a sense of um, a sense of um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Okay. Anyway, we're going to set our translate values to zero, so it's centered in the middle, and we're going to go to our top view, and we're going to hit four. So there it is. We're going to hit R, and we're going to scale that in just so we are within these two lines here that would be about right and then we're going to hit four hit w to bring it down and in our front view hit four again make sure it's going to go into this area but make sure it's not too much so let's do this all right hit five again it's like this guy shifts like that guy mesh tools uh, sorry no 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 mesh boolean and difference okay which will create this right here all right okay so what's next now we're going to create a cylinder that is similar but slightly uh, smaller so again 40 subdivisions will set the translate values to zero so it's centered we're going to bring that up we're going to switch to our top view we're going to hit r and we're going to bring it in so there's a gap between the two okay and then we're going to push that in maybe a bit more than that it will be bring that down and check that for size yeah that's about right okay and by now we're working upside down so we'll just flip that back okay so this is the guy that we're going to work with and i'm just going to give it a little bit more height so hit r like that okay now we're going to take a polygon sphere again we're going to add some subdivision 40 by 40 that's fine we're going to set the translate values to zero to get it centered again there we go and we're going to hit w and we're going to bring that down here okay now this is going to be a bit tricky because in our top view we're going to hit r and we're going to scale that down quite a bit and then we're going to hit W and we're going to move it over to one side. Not all the way over. Let's say something like so. Okay. Let's see if we need to increase that maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Now, for the tricky part, in our front view, we're going to hit W and we're going to bring that in. And we're not going to stick that through. We're going to bring it into about here. Okay. Then we're going to go to our perspective view. We're going to select this guy, shift select that guy, and go to mesh, boolean, and difference, which will give us a plate with that disk in it. All right. So now for our key opening, we're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to drag that out, pull that up, give it a little bit of height. We're going to set subdivision to 10 that's fine 
and we're going to set our translate values to zero. So once again, that's centered. Let's bring that down. Now, the width of our key is a bit much, so let's just check that. So we're going to hit R, and we're going to bring that in. And what we're going to do next is, from our top view, we're going to scale that back in. Hit W and move it over here. So a section is sticking out here, and a section is sticking out here, and we'll have a part that's going through that opening, okay? And then we're going to right-click at our vertex. I always hate it when that happens. Control-Z, Control-Z. I just want the vertices on, on that guy. No. I really have to switch shoes for that. It looks like if I click vertex. Okay. So where are we at? We're right here. So I'm just going to take these vertices and I'm going to start to tweak them, if you will. Take that one, push that one in a little bit. Maybe that one too, but slightly less. And we'll take that one and push it down. Something like that, okay? All right, now we're gonna insert that in, oops. Right click object mode. We're gonna insert that, but we need to check the height, okay? So, we're going to pull it up just a bit more, but not all the way through, like that. Then we're going to select this guy, shift like that guy, mesh, boolean, difference. Nice. Okay. We're going to take this whole thing. Let's move that in there. And from our bottom view here, let's see if that's all right. Yeah, looks good. We're going to drag select the whole thing. We're going to go not mesh combine. We're going to do control G to group. Let's add some material to that. So this and this, right click assign new material. MIA material X, material tab presets copper and blend 75 percent for this thing right click assign new material mia presets chrome replace and then we are going to drag select the entire deal we're going to hit e and we're going to oops not do that we are going to um Mesh combine, and I'll fix that in a sec. I want that to just rotate by minus 90. Okay, and then we're going to hit W and we're going to bring that up so it's lying on the floor. Just see if I need to, yeah. I need to drag select the whole thing, mesh, separate, much better, and then select this guy and hit three to smooth that out. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna quickly set up the scene for a render. So we'll take a polygon plane, right click assign new material, and we'll do a fong, and we'll turn that white. We'll go to create lights, point light, pull that up. I'm going to hit seven on my keyboard so I can see what my light's doing. It'll be about right. Create lights, ambient light, just to have some light back here. And as you can see, it's very intense. So I'm going to bring that down to an intensity of 0 0.1. Much better. We're going to zoom in for a render shot 
let's set up our resolution gate. Not bad. Maybe, yeah, maybe that. Okay. And let's go to our render settings. Okay. So I'm going to render in Mendel Ray. And my common tab, I'm going to set my image size to HD 1080. And my quality tab, I'm going to increase the quality to about 1.5. And if you have a version of Maya prior to 2015, you would select a production quality, okay? Um, indirect lighting, I'm gonna select global illumination. And uh, what I will do is select image-based lighting, okay? We're gonna minimize that. This will allow me to select an HDRI file for my image-based lighting. And in my folder, I'm going to select Studio 001. Now, the question I get a lot is, where do you get these HDRI files? Um, just Google for free HDRI. What you can also do is go to hdrlabs.com. Okay? So, that's open. That should be okay. I'm going to hit the render button. I'll just pause the video, and I'll see you guys when it's done. See you in a sec. All right, guys. There you have it. There's our padlock. So, uh, yeah. Pretty straightforward, but hopefully uh, useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, as always, uh, let me know. You can leave a comment under the video, or you can uh, check out my Facebook page. And uh, quite a few subscribers hang out there and you know swap ideas and what they've modeled and so forth. So that's kind of fun. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please, please subscribe. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and I'd love to see you guys again. Thank you. Bye.